what would you do? All right, guys, welcome back. In today's video is that other one I told you guys I kind of wanted to do a little reaction to. Uh, about two weeks ago now, Retro Rick's Game Point channel had a new video on there where a regular customer who comes in all the time uh, brought in a great haul of games. This guy normally brings in a bunch of games that he picks up and flips them to Retro Rick. I don't know if he's actually a collector or if he just sells things uh, to Rick because he gets them cheaper somewhere else to make more money. I'm not sure. But in this video, they are bringing these games in for money. And the situation here, these guys got all these games for $100. And I believe they ended up paying the person on Facebook $120 for these games. And at the end of the video, uh, Rick actually asked us, hey, uh, what would you do in this situation? Would you have paid more? Would you have just gave her what she wanted? Would you have haggled with it? Uh, and I believe he said at the end that he would have felt obligated to have paid her more. So it just begged the question, what would you guys do? Now to lay the foundation for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and just play this a little bit, try to talk about what had happened. Um, you can see some of the games here already on the table. Conker's Bad Fur Day, Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, uh, just a bunch of games in this tote. And just to be clear, I don't think all of these were from the Facebook deal they got it from. I think some of them were already some games that the gentleman already had he's bringing in, but a good majority of them are. And you can kind of see a piece of it here. I think they scan over to it here shortly. There is a complete in-box copy of Shadow Tower uh, sitting in this collection, which, man, that's one that has me just... I'm so jealous that I skipped out on that at too many games ago, so many years ago, had the chance to get it, and unfortunately... I just did not pick it up for 50 bucks and it's one of those regretful things that still to this day but that's leading me down a sidetrack so without trying to see the rest of this stuff let's see where you see the shadow tower at they pick it up and show it off here it is shadow tower complete in box just looking really good so anyways these guys got this deal off of facebook marketplace for a hundred bucks like man awesome score awesome deal but then it poses the question, like the morals in game collecting and purchasing and reselling, uh, what would you do in that scenario? So there we have it. We know the scenario. Everything's been laid out. What would you do in that case? This was a Facebook marketplace deal. It was listed for 100 bucks. Would you have paid more? Would you have tried to haggle and negotiate? What would you do in that scenario? And there are so many different points of views on this especially with reselling being so prevalent within the, not just the gaming scene, just in general. You look on YouTube, reselling is just, it's blown up and it's just, you go out to yard sales like I do. It's just, there's people everywhere now. It's not like it was 10 to 15 years ago. It's just mobs of people at all the yard sales. So it can be kind of crazy. All right, so my point of view, and if you've been watching my channel for a little bit now, you know how I kind of work things out here with my Facebook deals. First and foremost, the deal has to have something in that I want in it. If it doesn't have anything I want, I don't care. I've passed up on so many items just because I already have the games or systems in it and there's nothing I need. And I don't want to go through the work of having to sell things. I'm doing this to collect, to collect games. I don't want to have to sell games just to sell games to make money. So first and foremost, there better be something in that collection I need. And secondly, I am a Christian. I don't mean to put religion or anything in this, but I try to live my life how Christ would want me to live it. And it does say in Leviticus that we should not be taking advantage of each other or a fellow man. So I try to do my best to be as fair as I can with any type of deal. And there's been instances on Facebook Marketplace where I've showed you guys like the text, text message receipts where I've told people they've had stuff too low that I would pay them more or what they should be asking for it. And you can still get a great deal if you do that. So that's just me personally. I'm not like the morality police here, not telling anyone what they should do. I'm just saying for me to make myself feel good about something, that's just what I do. Now, with that being said, if there's a lot of games listed up on Facebook Marketplace, or if there's a vendor at a flea market or something, I believe that those people you're setting up to sell you do have a responsibility. You could take note of your inventory, look some things up to try to get prices, especially if you're listing stuff on Facebook Marketplace. If you have the knowledge to list an item for sale, 
then you should have the knowledge to look that item up. So if someone's asking for $100 worth of $500 worth of stuff, I'm not going to give anyone crap at all for paying that $100 for it. Uh, go for it. There's been instances where I paid just the asking price on Facebook. Actually, most of the time, because it's normally pretty fair, just deals on there. But there are cases where it like makes sense to pay lower because you're buying things you don't know what's going to work. I know my biggest purchase I ever did on here was uh, that console deal where I spent $1,500 on a bunch of consoles, which I think if you price charted it all out would have been around $3,000 worth of stuff I was getting. But I don't know if anything works. And to that person's knowledge, they don't know if stuff works. So it's just a big gamble. And if you watch the results from all that, you know that I did make out pretty well in that. But there was a bunch of broken stuff in it. So there's things you just take into account with all these things. But if there's a price listed on Facebook, then I'd say it's free game. You go for it. If there's at a flea market and there's a certain price listed on an item, it's free game. Like Just go ahead and go for it. Even at yard sales, if there's a game that's 20 bucks and it's listed for a dollar, I have no issues if people are paying a dollar for a $20 game or anything like that. None at all. So with that being said, like in this scenario with that woman for the hundred dollars, I, I would have gave her a little bit more uh, for the items. But again, I, I don't hold anything against those guys for only paying the hundred. Now, there is an instance that does make you a scumbag, and we will get into that right now. What makes you a dirty scumbag when it comes to this? You know, we all want to get things for cheap, especially in a hobby where games can be reaching up to the hundreds and even thousands of dollars. And a lot of us can't afford to make that payment on a game, or we just don't want to have to pay that much for a game. So we're hoping to find it out in the wild for cheap. But one thing I do not condone is lying. I believe it is so wrong. And what am I talking about here? Well, there's so many scenarios. There's a YouTube channel I love watching right now called Heck and Steve, where he really hammers out and calls out resellers. And there's so many scenarios where people go to a yard sale. They'll ask for video games. And people are, oh, I think I do have some inside. Let me go grab them. They go inside. They bring out their old Nintendos or Sega Saturns and stuff like that. And the people, they'll go ahead and ask them and say, hey, I don't know much about this, so I'm trusting you to give me judgment on it, on what the price is and your offer. And they just straight up lie. They just still do whatever they can to just get it for pennies on the dollar because they're either trying to make a big, huge profit from it or they want to add it to their collection for as cheap as they can. But I just do not condone that, man, to just lie straight up to the person's face. I have a video queued up here that is just a prime example of just, just scumbaggery to its highest. Now, this is a video that Heck and Steve already covered. And after covering this video, I think this YouTuber has kind of disappeared and stopped making content for all the crap that he got in this video. But this is something that's just, it's prevalent, like running wild, that like people do it easily and it becomes its second nature to them to just lie and take advantage of people. And like I said, I just, I just can't do that. And it stinks when I'm watching YouTube here for people who claim to be fellow Christians themselves doing that. And it just, I don't know how they can do it. So I'm going to play this clip and you're just going to hear this lady of what she tells this gentleman uh, not to do. Uh, of course, he asked for video games, so he brought her in. She doesn't have any of these games priced out or anything. She hasn't looked them up yet. She wasn't ready to take them out to sell them. They were still getting it ready. She's like, yeah, come on in. I'll show them. This is what happens. See if we're at the right spot here. All right, we're at the right spot now. And you can already see there's kind of some Sega Saturn stuff on the table. This is like a bunch of Sega Saturn games in this slot, a console, uh, two of the light guns. Like it's almost three or $400 worth of stuff. And you're going to listen to what this lady says. And then I'm going to tell you guys what happens. The classic line. Oh, I collect too. I collect these games. I'm not. I don't just. I don't sell them. The stuff I would be. Just. I'd be keeping this. Please for don't sure. Please don't. 
please don't just please don't take advantage of me. Oh and no. I know, I know that you you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, a lot of the stuff I would be keeping. I don't have a Sega Saturn. <laughs> so okay. that's pretty cool. Alright. Go back to big mode here. So you can hear it in her voice. She was saying, please don't take advantage of me. So what do you think this guy did? He took advantage of her. Uh, later on in the video, he offered her 100 bucks for everything and got all that stuff for $100. Like I said, it's $300, $400 worth of stuff. Uh, the comments are just ripping him apart about it. And of course, he's not replying to anyone who says anything like that, who says, please don't take advantage of me, proceeds to take advantage of her. And even other resellers on there are giving them crap like, man, you just make us look bad because you just straight up took advantage of her and lied to her. Um, so just dirty stuff like that is just horrible. I hate that you are a scumbag if you do that. But in that same scenario, if she actually had that stuff out there on a table and it had a $100 price tag, I have no issues if anyone goes and pays for something like that. So it's just one of those things where if she has it priced at 100, it makes me think, okay, I guess they did a little research and they just want to get rid of it for $100. But anytime a person does not know what they have or they tell me, I do not know what this is worth, I tell them exactly what it's worth. It just happened to me last week. If you watch my short, I got the two 2DS XLs and I got the Switch and those games all at one sale. It was some kids having a sale, and I say, hey, I look for games. I don't really look for this stuff. And they're like, oh, we have a bunch of game stuff that we don't play anymore, our Switch, our handheld DSs. I asked mom if it was okay. She's like, yes, they don't play any of that stuff no more. They can go and get it, so they bring it out. She just said, I don't know what it's all worth, so if you can just tell us a fair offer or be honest with us, uh, we'll be happy to sell it to you. And that's what I did. I told them exactly what everything was worth. And it was funny because uh, the kid like bounced back at a pretty high number, which was even then it was a fair offer. But the mom cut in was like, no, we want to give him a good deal. And so they still hooked me up with a good deal. But uh, you can still you can be honest and get good deals on things. Uh, just I guess there's this thing where people just want to pay pennies on the dollar for things, which, again, that's fine, too. Just don't lie about anything. And I got no issues with it, so. That kind of pretty much covers everything for me. I know this probably went all over the place and went long, but I really wanted to get my thoughts and feelings out there on this of how, just to show there's different ways people handle things. I know in the comments, things will be different. But again, for me myself, I try to be fair for people. I can happily and easily pay up on items for things because again, I'm just trying to add to my collection. I'm not trying to make money or anything off of this. That's a bonus on the side for building up a, bank fund for games and nothing else this ain't anything i'm trying to live off of i'm just trying to get video games so let me know in the comments below what would you do in certain scenarios how you feel about certain things what's a scumbag in your opinion so let me know you guys in the next one